Hi, this is Jeff Mitchell with the Golf Standard. If you feel like you read greens well, that you align yourself well, and that you have pretty good speed control and you're not getting the results that you're really looking for, maybe it's just in the way that you adjust for uphill, downhill, side hill type of putts. And that brings me to a concept I call level and straight. For me, I feel like that if I'm going to really putt well, I want to try to make every putt level and straight. So if it's uphill, I aim a certain point past the hole, downhill at a certain point short of the hole, because my biggest goal is to make sure that I'm hitting putts with a good solid stroke. If I look at a putt that looks like it's uphill, I'm very likely to try to hit that harder, and I want to try to avoid that. Or if I'm going downhill or downhill side hill, I might ease into that putt. For me to hit better putts under those circumstances, number one, I have to create a standard. I have to know how far I hit my putts, have good touch. But the second thing is I have to know how that golf ball works its way, integrates itself into the green so that I can make an adjustment and just change where I am aiming. And there I can make it a level and straight putt, hit good solid putts, feel like I'm doing what I have to do and then let the ball interact with the green. So the first thing I want to do is create a standard. I have two alignment rods here 15 feet apart and I'm a practice going back and forth and back and forth until I feel like I have really good speed control over a 15 foot putt. The next step in this process, once I've created my standard, I want to put myself into situations so that I can figure out how much the green in itself is going to interact with the golf ball. I still have this alignment rod, that alignment rod at 15 feet apart, but it's on an uphill slope. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a putt as if I had a perfectly level 15 foot putt and see what kind of a effect that this green actually has. And I felt like I actually hit a 15 foot putt right there and that ball ended up considerably short. So my process is this, to make an adjustment for this amount of hill, what I'm going to do is measure how far that golf ball ended up short and add that to the other side. And this ends up being my target. So if I have this putt and I want to get it to go 15 feet with this amount of slope, I'm going to have to hit it almost 18 feet to make that adjustment to the uphill slope of the green. So for the next step in this process, I just want to go out, set up some putts, uphill, downhill, side hill, and test this theory out. Now I have what I call a superpower, and that superpower is my power of observation. The best way for you to really learn how to hit putts at level and straight is by really paying attention to how they interact with the green. So history would tell me, because of my powers of observation, that this putt right here is going uphill, it's going to break right to left, it's going to probably break somewhere in the six to eight inch range. Now, I can just take that and hit this putt as if it were level and straight, which means I'd have to add about three feet distance wise and, and play it about six inches right, or I can just simply play this as a level and straight putt and see where the ball ends up. And that result tells me that I was pretty close to correct. That ball is about three feet short of the hole, about six inches left. And that means for me to really be successful in this putt, I can take a coin, put it exactly the same distance long that that is short, the same distance right that that is left, and hit this as if it were a perfectly level and straight putt and get a really good result. Now in this situation, I have about a 20 foot putt. And experience will tell me that this is a downhill, side hill putt. And for me to make this level and straight, I've actually put a coin out here about six, six and a half feet short of the hole and considerably right. What that allows me to do is take a good solid stroke from right there as if, as if this were perfectly level and perfectly straight. If I think it's downhill, I might ease into it, which a lot of times is going to open or close the club face. If I think it's uphill, I'm going to pop it and it can do the same thing. But if I treat this as if it's a perfectly level, perfectly straight putt, I can make a really good solid effort at it and I'm very happy with that result. 
you know, the concept of level and straight allows you to keep your standard in all of your strokes, whether it's uphill, downhill, side hill, you can still hit good solid shots by making sure that you adjust for the amount of slope on the green. Make sure you use your powers of observation. Make every putt level and straight. Till next time.